Good morning, ladies. Based on last night's 7 p.m. Central Live with Jesse in in Chape, in Chape, in Chaspe, in Chaspe, um, in Chaspe. <laughs> Sorry, her name gets me. The glucose goddess. Um, that was a lot of reaction last night, and people, I think, were pretty fascinated to realize that they could begin to move the bathroom scale in the direction they want to go if they start learning about their glucose numbers. That was my experience three years ago. It wasn't because I found Jesse Inchope, the glucose goddess, it was because I found Marty Kendall of Optimizing Nutrition. He wrote a blog post how to use your glucose meter as a fuel gauge. And I went ahead and began practicing that. So, um, but I was very excited to find Jesse this week because of the of Melissa's Fed Up Challenge. And I spent, um, I spent time searching her out and listening to at least four podcasts that she did and that she was a guest on and I also found some YouTube videos. I'll put those links for you to be able to access those without having to search for them yourselves because I've already done the searching. I'll put those in the description box of this video and um, since a lot of you don't know about testing your glucose, what's that, what that looks like, I will show you both by doing it on a meter that I usually send friends and family to when they're just getting started because um, it's inexpensive. The test strips are the least in cost of any test strips I know. And then I'll do it on the glucose meter that I move to that in the end is the least expensive of all for me um, because it has unlimited test strips. I can use as many test strips as I want, and I and I do. Um, so, um, to get started, the twenty-dollar box at Walmart, the Rely On, is what I send people to. It has everything you need in it to do be able to do fifty testing tests. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, I've got the the case already in the box. It's just a cheap nylon zip case, but it'll do the job. You don't have to have something fancy and expensive. In it, there are 50 um, test strips in a tube. There's the meter that you will use to read the test strips. There's a lancing device that you need um, to be able to hold the lancets and to stab yourself. And the, I've already got the Lancet in here. I can link a video on how to, what that looks like to set this kit up. I didn't do that video. I'll link my video to show you where to look in Walmart in the pharmacy section. But let me go ahead and just do the test on the Rely On. So I'm gonna pull out a, a test strip and put it in the end of the meter. There's a little word that says insert and it goes in the notch in the bottom of the rely on and then it begins to flash and I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it'll flash a little drop of blood and then you use the lancing device um, you can dial the depth of the needle um, deeper or sh more shallow and I set it on a medium setting for myself you pull back on the caulking device and then you use a little white button on the side to snap it. And that's when it stabs you. So I'll pull back on the caulking device and today is January 6th. So I'm going to use my six finger. I move things around when I'm testing so no one finger takes all the abuse. So my left hand is for the even numbers of the dates. Zero, two, four, six. I'll be using my ring finger today for all of my tests. So I've got the thing cocked. I'm going to place the end of the device off to the side, not directly on the tip 
of the finger where it's most sensitive, but a little off to the side on the padded either side, doesn't matter. Some people test on their forearm. I know that Marty Kendall does that. That's what he's shown on one of his live videos in his teaching groups. So it's a little off to the side and stab myself and get a tiny drop of blood, that's all I need, and stick the end of the pipette strip into the drop of blood and then it counts down five, four, three, two, one. And this is Rini 92. Now I'm going to do another strip because I do not, I do not take the readings at face value. I like to make sure that my numbers are within three digits of each other on the number line. So I'm going to raise another drop of blood don't have to stab myself again. Just stick the end of the pipette strip into the drop of blood. Five, four, three, two, one, and it read 93. So that's good. I have two numbers within a digit of each other. Now, that 93, I can almost guarantee you I'm going to get a lower reading on my other meter. I'm going to put this stuff away from the rely on, put the meter back in the test tubes or the test strips in the tube are back in and the lancing device. Zip that back up, put it back in this box. This is a kit, $20, that will come with 50 test strips. So you could just go to your local Walmart, walk into the pharmacy section and buy one of these boxes. And if you run through the 50 test strips, because if you do like I am and making sure your numbers are within three digits of each other, you'll use those test strips up. But as I said, the Rely On has the least expensive test strips when you're buying over the counter at the pharmacy. It's 18 cents a test strip. This is a box that cost $18, a little less change, um, that has two tubes in it, two tubes of 50. So, um, anyway, if you had to go back and get more test strips, this is the box you would look for. All the meters have their own test strips. That's how the uh, manufacturers make their money, is on the test strips. And that's why I like using the, the Dario meter, because I have unlimited test strips. Now this meter is everything that that rely on kit had in it. It has um, it has the test strips here in this two in this little chamber at the end. You flip open the cap and there are 25 test strips in there. And when I run through those 25, I pull out this tube, this chamber, and replace it with another one um, full of 25 test strips. So that's where the test strips are held in one end of the Dario. This is where the lancing device is in the other end of the Dario. I hardly ever take this orange cap off to show the needle, but that's where the needle is. The lancet for the lancing end of the Dario. And right here where this orange um, pull tab is where the little Lego piece is that is actually the meter for the Dario. It slips in, pops down, and this case holds my whole testing kit. So I'm going to pop up the meter and again the Lego piece, and this goes in the end of my phone. Um, if I had an Android, I would have a different little uh, connector piece here. So I'm going to put this in the end of my phone. I've set my, my phone here so you can see. Um, me test on my using my Dario. When I put it in the phone, it pops up with a message. Dario would like to communicate. I didn't touch the message quickly enough, so I'm just going to slide up and find my Dario app. But I could have touched on the message and it would have opened this up. And I'm sorry, you probably can't see very clearly, but so it's opened up the Dario app and it tells me insert a new test strip. So I'm going to take off the cap covering the test strip chamber, flip up the lid, 
I'm going to pull out two test strips because I know I'm going to use at least two so I can get those numbers together. And what I'm expecting now is I'm going to get lower numbers with my Dario than I did with my Rely On. That is what experience showed me. Each meter has its own range of giving you test values. They're allowed to have a variance of about plus or minus 20 uh, percent or 15 percent. I'm not sure. Dario says their, their range is only 15 percent. I don't know. 15 points, 15 percent. 15 points is a lot of test points, test numbers. Anyway, I'm going to put the test strip in the end of my phone. It tells me to place a drop of blood. Let's see if I can still raise I can still raise a drop of blood from that first stabbing, which it wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if I had to poke myself again. Do the same thing. I'm putting my putting the pipette and the test strip into the drop of blood. I'm not trying to scoop the blood up with the test strip, just to touch the pipette end into the drop of blood. 86. So I was right. I got a lower number. It was, what, 90, 95, 94, 96, 95 on the Rely On. I could, it's easy to go back on the Rely On and click back and see your numbers, so it keeps track of your numbers. I'm going to use the check mark to save that 86. I'm going to stick another test strip in just to verify. Raise the drop of blood. Stick it into the pipette end of the test strip and see what I get. If it's not within three numbers, I'm going to test again. 84. Okay, so 84. I can touch the log book to show me my last test strip numbers. Um, yes, 84 and an 86, so they're within two points of each other. This morning, before I even got out of bed, I tested myself and the two numbers that I got were 85 and 84. So my glucose has stayed the same um, according to, you know, testing within, let's see, this is 10 o'clock almost. This was quarter of eight. So within, you know, roughly two hours of, of testing, I'm gonna close the cap here and set my Dario aside. Oh, I'm gonna pull the Lego piece, slip it back into here, click it down, and if I always kept the end cap on, put it back on, and there is the Dario. So I subscribed to the Dario, the annual subscription that costs me $200 a year. I can use my health insurance card, my health supplement something, HSA, health supplement, assistance, whatever. I can use my pre-tax um, insurance money, health insurance money to um, renew my $200 annual subscription with Dario. I have no affiliation with them. Um, and just to be clear, I have no side gig at all. I'm not, a, I'm not a coach, I'm not a consultant, I don't have any business. My husband provides for us. Um, I'm just pointing you to things that have helped me and um, because they've worked for me and it makes my life easier. Uh, so the Dario is one of the best tools that I, had, I have at my disposal as far as I'm concerned because I can keep track of my glucose. I know that I'm in healthy ranges. Uh, Jesse in Chelsea Bay said yesterday that um, the range she keeps in mind is between 70 and 120 as I think the NIH recommendations other recommendations are even narrower than that they say healthy glucose is between 70 and 110 now you wouldn't want a morning glucose of 110 that top of the range is supposed to be for post meal when you've filled up with food and your body's got this circulating glucose to deal with and sort of the lower end of the range should be 70. I was thrilled a few days ago when I woke up with a morning glucose of 78. I would 
I definitely want to stay, have a morning fasting glucose between 70 and say 85 is my personal ideal. I will also put a link to blood sugar battles in the description area. That's where I found a chart that shows optimal glucose levels, uh, fasting, post meal. Um, it shows it both in milligrams per deciliter, which is the American measurement. Um, that's my numbers are in milligrams per deciliter. The European measurement um, is in millimoles per liter. So I don't know what that would be. I don't know what my number would translate to. I think it's divided by divided by 18. I could get the European number on my numbers right now, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, uh, just thought it might be helpful to you if you could see somebody testing their glucose number and hear uh, a recommendation on, well, if I would, wanted to do this, where would I go? What's the least expensive route? How quickly can I get started? The quickest you can get started is to run to Walmart. The least expensive you can get started is to run to Walmart, spend the 20 bucks, get the rely on, I'm reaching for it, rely on Premier Compact. It'll have everything you need to test your glucose 50 times. Um, and if you have to buy new test strips, they cost 18 cents a piece, but there will be 50 of them in that $20 kit. This costs about $18 and has 100 test strips in it. And then if you find you're sticking with sticking your finger to use your glucose meter as a fuel gauge, then I suggest that it's actually best to get the annual subscription, $200 a year to Dario. You can use your health insurance card to pay for the subscription. I'll put a link in the description box so you can find the right offer because they have offers all over the board. You can see Facebook ads come up about it and it'll tell you you can get a meter for, I don't know, $25 and a few test strips, but then they'll hook you into buying the more expensive plan or something. I know where to point you to for the $200 plan and they will honor it. I checked the link, it's still live. Um, sorry, I get excited about this, so I just get worked up and whatnot. Um, I'm so glad that we had Jesse in Chelsea Bay as one of the guests because I know from my own three year experience of monitoring my glucose that um, it helps me keep my weight where I want it. I do not get panicky when I see the scale go up because I know how to move the scale down now. I do not feel helpless anymore. I did feel helpless back in 2016 um, when I was kind of at the top of my weight again because of menopause. And I just didn't feel like I could manage things without having to eat some sort of restrictive diet. I'm not interested in a restrictive diet. I want to eat all the foods. Um, I want to eat healthy. I want to be healthy. And finding Marty Kendall's blog post, How to Use Your Glucose Meter as a Fuel Gauge, changed my life. Um, so, anyway, that's my... That's my soapbox, and I'm going to stand down off it now.